you on a journey through time back to the first century and through the dramatic life of the Apostle Paul from Jerusalem to Rome present the core of what the Christian faith is all about through particular subjects and themes explain Christianity and God's plan for you and I. In a broken world, you can find healing and be a healer for others. In a dark world, you can find light and be a bright light that shines for others. My name is Brent Grosvenor, and this is my daughter Victoria Grosvenor. And uh, we've been doing uh, musical theater for 19 years all over the United States. Uh, well over 700 performances, and then we began to rebuild our ministry in Europe uh, two years ago. And so we are duplicating our ministry in the United States, here in Europe. Uh, we're buying lighting, buying lighting equipment and uh, other equipment so that we own our own equipment here. And we just do musical theater, that's what we do, all over, all over the U.S. and now here, and it's a privilege to be here in Poland. So the performance today just ended. Mm -hmm. It was incredible, beautiful. Um, we are in a city, Tri-City Dines. Mm -hmm. uh, how was the re reaction of the people? What did you feel? Because you're not doing this for entertainment. Right, only, exactly. Right? No, we, we do this because we care about people and their eternal destiny. Uh, we care about uh, people understanding who Christ is. We want the Bible to come alive. And um, we want our people to draw near to God. And so tonight, especially tonight, this is our first time in the in the here in this area. Um, and I sense that people were welcoming. They were responsive. They mm -hmm. smiled. They laughed. They cried. And uh, it was so beautiful. I always had this vision of going to countries in Europe, especially um, in more Eastern uh, European countries where they have these little buildings and these theaters. And there are many of them, because I know the love for the arts and uh, for, for this kind of culture. Uh, and tonight we were here. We were here with 500 people and, and uh, people were so responsive. It was beautiful. Uh, that's, you know, that's kind of being general. Uh, then afterwards, we had people weeping and uh, people wanting to know the Lord and wanting to be used by God. Um, the reason I do this show, Pillars of Fire, is because uh, I want the Bible to be truly alive in front of a live audience. Um, it's one thing to read a few scriptures, it's one thing to tell people what it says, but to vividly demonstrate it the very best that we can on a stage, uh, with lights and with scripture, but you know, putting it in its historical context, uh, it's a powerful thing. Uh, but now you add music and you add singing, like my daughter's gorgeous voice. And, um, and that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> Your father's telling the truth. <laughs> and it, it touches people's hearts. Music is a great medium. So. The Roman governor he believed, and then we set sail and uh, headed north. Now pioneers in uncharted land, the devil tried another hand. Mark left us and deserted us, Satan tried to get the best of us. Then up the mountains, rough terrain, for the north nothing done in vain. For the first time, the Galatians heard the word. From the synagogue to the marketplace, we saw the dawning on every face. The Jew, the Greek, the slave, the free, men and women of every creed. The fire spread from town to town. The love of God was raining down, and the masses brought up with one voice. Sing it! We turn from the grip of the gods, which are no gods at all. No! We turn from the grip of the law and self-righteousness to receive the grace of God. Widzieliśmy płaczących ludzi. 
to tak mocno dotknęło e, niektóre osoby. E, historia, tak dużo Słowa Bożego i ta cała historia o Pawle tak mocno dotknęła ich. E, myślę, że e, to jest coś pięknego, że mogliśmy e, mieć tutaj Brenta Grozenora z całym jego zespołem. Ja podziwiałem e, to zaangażowanie ludzi, e, jego zespołu w pracę. Oh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Thank you. You know, she disappears and then she comes back. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And she's crying right oh, now. Oh, man, like, that was no, beautiful. No, okay. I have that effect on people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, people cry. I've heard that. Some people cry because of, of joy and some because... Um, Other things. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, let me, let me explain. Um, this show is just one of many that I've written. Uh, my next production uh, is a, has a whole different thing. It'll have a bigger... Uh, cast and a bigger crew um, and we're hoping Emily will be a part of that and uh, you know we we need to tell stories on stages with lights and sound mm. and not do it for 500 people but do it for thousands of people thousands of people people in Europe are no different than people in in the United States especially where we come from in New England uh, people are turned off to religion they don't want to go to church they won't go hear a preacher but they will come see a production. We do it where we, where we live in our home base, uh, where tens of thousands of people come see my shows. And But they don't just come see them, they buy tickets for them. They pay to come. And if they buy a ticket, they, they really do um, come. They don't stay home. God touches their heart and life. But one way or another, all I'm saying is, we have to fill buildings and theaters all over Europe uh, so that people will hear a clear, powerful message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the only reason we do it. If I just wanted to entertain, I would go back to New York City, I would go do Broadway, I would go do theater and entertainment in, in, that, in those circles. Um, so, you know, this, this, is, this is who we are. And if we only kept coming back to Poland, if that's what God wants us to do, then I'm fine with that too. If we just keep coming here, I'm fine with it. Uh, well, we're fine with that too. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Well, my fear was that the subtitles uh, wouldn't be enough. And, but it seems that people are still receiving the message. I wish I could perform in Polish, but if, <laughs> if, if this is the next best thing, then I'm, I'm okay with it if, if the people are okay with but, it. You know, I speak Polish, I can't perform in Polish. So. Oh, okay then. <laughs> so I'm, it's okay. <laughs> Victoria, um, how come Victoria? How come Victoria? What do you mean? The name. Like, oh, the name. the name. Oh, my, actually, for her, my wife had a dream, and uh, she, she, in the dream, we were, have, we were having a baby, and she said Victoria. So in the dream, her name was Victoria. So we Victoria. said, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we love the name for all those reasons. Yeah. You're performing with your father. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, your thoughts about the audience today? Like, I've seen the reaction. People came forward. And obviously, you're not doing this for entertainment. You're doing this for, mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. People came. They were weeping. They were crying. They were receiving Christ. Mm -hmm. Some of them for the first time. Mm -hmm. You're watching your father performing. He is a preacher. He, mm -hmm. I know he doesn't like that. <laughs> I do. But he was preaching to yes. the hearts of uh, the mm -hmm. souls, mm -hmm. the spirits of men. Sure. Uh, God doesn't change. And he has the same passion toward all of us. Ma tę samą pasję skierowaną ku każdemu z nas. The same desire to touch us and to heal us. To samo pragnienie by nas dotknąć i uzdrowić. To touch our homes and our families. Aby dotknąć nasze domy, nasze rodziny. To heal our land. Aby uzdrowić naszą ziemię. And to raise up pillars of fire. I aby wzbudzić filary z ognia. This musical that you've experienced. Ten muzykal, który właśnie państwo wysłuchali is about the way God changes the human heart. Mówi o tym, jak Bóg zmienia serce człowieka. We came from the United States to Poland because we care. Przyjechaliśmy ze Stanów Zjednoczonych do Polski, bo zależy nam na nas. Because it is a passion of ours. Ponieważ to jest pasją naszych serc. To use musical theater. Aby poprzez ten muzyka. To tell people about God and His wonderful opowiadać innym o Bogu i Jego wspaniałej łasce. We are here for you. Jesteśmy tutaj dla Was. This is your night. To jest Wasz wieczór. And God is calling you by name. I Bóg powołuje Was, wzywa Was po imieniu. I want to challenge you. Chcę Wam rzucić wyzwanie. If you have not 
symbolically taken a drink of the cup. Jeśli jeszcze symbolicznie nie wziąłeś, nie wzięłaś tego kielicha. And entered into that relationship with God. By wypić wino i wejść w tę szczególną więź z Jezusem. To receive all the promises. Aby przyjąć wszystkie obietnice. And the wonderful things God has for you. I wszystko to, co wspaniałe Bóg przygotował dla ciebie. Will you drink? Czy dzisiaj napijesz się z tego kielicha, czy zostaniesz Jego obietnicą? Każdy z nas. What are my feelings? Well, let me just start off by saying my dad is one of the most amazing people that I've ever known, and I he is definitely um, a role model for me and and how I want to be when I get older and and who I want to be like and what I want to strive to be, and um, seeing people's faces for me it's. Um, it makes all of our efforts worth it, you know. You know, it's difficult to, to get here, and we have a lot of money to raise, and and all that stuff. But seeing the the people's faces and knowing that we're making an impact on somebody's lives is, you know, we don't we don't need we don't need their applause. We don't need them to say good job. But just just seeing it on their faces just it means the it means the world to us, and it's just amazing. Hmm. So you guys are traveling with a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. or, Emily. 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 Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Ask for forgiveness. You can lay hands on me and pray. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, you're a friend of the family. Yeah. How how that came about? Oh boy. Um. So they're very. We're the same age. Y yes, relatively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like a little younger. I'm a little younger. There, right? right. Exactly. <laughs> Ten months. Whatever. No big deal. Um. They're very close friends with the the De Salvatores, right? with the De Salvatores, which is a family at the church. They're in all my shows. Yes. So. And I think one of Amy, the, the mom of all the kids, she's the co-director, would you say? My assistant producer. Assistant producer. Yeah. Um, and she's my younger sister's godmother. So I've known them my whole life. And she was like, Emily, I know that you want to do acting and singing as a career. Why don't you come do this play, see how you really enjoy an off-Broadway quality musical? And I was like, all right, I'll try it out. So I went and I was like, this is amazing. This is definitely what I was called to do. So I started hanging out with Victoria. We've become very, very good friends since. And I walked up to Brent one day and I was like, I'm homeschooled and I know that you guys travel. Would you have any possibilities for me to do it? And he was like, he was so welcoming. He was like, yeah, come on board, let's do it. They taught me all of this in about a week and mm -hmm. we just practiced and practiced and now I'm with them yeah. and I love them. And you want to give her bigger roles in the future. Yes. Yes. She's really talented. And you still like each other? Oh, uh, yes, sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> no, we yes. love each other. We do. Oh, I'm so sad. That's she's so going to college. Beautiful. She's leaving me. Isn't that yeah. rude? I wish I was in the middle, too, and someone will hug me. Oh, do you need a hug? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Come on. So it's on camera. So, uh, guys, you were incredible. This was, this, this was really beautiful. Thank you. People's re reception was awesome. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing what you're doing. Never Thank quit. You. Don't give up. And uh, I've heard your uh, daughter wants to be a missionary. Yes, absolutely. Yep. She does. She's going to school next college, studying music, and uh, do worship. And she's a beautiful worship leader. Plays oh, the guitar. Wow. And she's fantastic. Yes. You, you, and you can find her on Facebook and on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, we are roping people in Alberta, right? So yeah. I, I, yeah. I did that and I'm trying to say, hey, we need missionaries in Calgary. Yeah, you do. You do. I know. Canada needs the Lord. <laughs> I'm, hey, I grew up in rodeo country too, so I understand the rodeo <coughs> world. <laughs> Which part of? Uh, I'm from Idaho. Okay. Yeah, I grew up in Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pendleton Roundup in Oregon there, Lewiston Roundup. I've been to all them, all them roundups. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for what you did tonight, uh -huh. for what you're doing in this country and uh, what you are going to do still because I believe this is just the beginning. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. I think this is just the beginning. I believe Good that uh, there is a huge opening here sure. that needs to be filled. And if people like you will not feel it, the enemy will feel it. That's mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. keep up the good wow. work. Bless you. And see you on the next show. Yes. Oh, I was quite, uh, I was quite impressed. Whatever. You know, just the way they worked together with, uh, with the screen and everything like that and brought in pictures that was... Uh, you know, the, from the ancient times and what have you, Ephesus and Rome and, and everything, and uh, different actors on the screen, and they worked it right together. You know, you're with uh, what was going on live, and, and you really begin to empathize with, with people. 
Did, did it inspire you for your... Yeah, for the different uh, ministry that I have or whatever, as you know, uh, doing a gospel Elvis and, and uh, gospel uh, uh, impersonation of various singers and like that. And uh, so just preach the gospel all that stronger and not much more and what have you. You only got one life. It'll soon be passed and what you do for Christ for all that can last. And throughout all eternity, well, God will be rewarding us for for putting Him first and living for Him instead of for instead of for ourselves, which comes so natural to so many people. Pierwszy raz byłam na czymś takim. Byłam ciekawa, jak to wygląda. Domyślałam się, że zakończy się w ten sposób, jak się zakończyło. Bardzo mi się podobało. Najbardziej głos tego panu. Bardzo głęboki. Ja osobiście jestem bardzo poruszona i bardzo przyjęłam to ten musical cały. Przede wszystkim też tą końcową przemowę, która była od serca i która wynikała też z doświadczeń, dotknięcia przez Boga. I osobiście poczułam się też wezwana, bo każdy z nas ma jakieś upadki i ich powstawanie jest wpisane nieodzownie w nasze życie i to było. Ja z kolei się spodziewałam, że to będzie bardziej taki musical i tak od strony pokazania właśnie życia świętego Pawła. Nie spodziewałam się, że będzie taki motyw ewangelizatorski, co było naprawdę super. I gdzieś tam właśnie też wewnętrznie czułam jakieś takie wyzwanie i bardzo się cieszę, że to w tej formie było przedstawione. Widać też taką dużą charyzmę i dużą chęć niesienia dobra przez reżysera i innych aktorów, także to jest super. Bardzo się cieszę, że mogę być. Cudownie, cudownie. Mój tata wystąpił do modlitwy, więc cudownie. Bardzo fajnie. Mi rodzice się bardzo podobało. Naprawdę, warto obejrzeć. Wiele religijnych spektakli oglądałam w swoim życiu, ale jeszcze takiego nie. Jestem pod zupełnym, fantastycznym wrażeniem, pod euforią uczuć. No, przede wszystkim muszę podziękować temu człowiekowi, że odwiedził tą Polskę. Właśnie to jest dla niego. Coś, co wielu ludzi powinno zobaczyć. Nie tylko te garstki, ale wielu ludzi, ponieważ jesteśmy katolickim narodem, to uważam, że Polacy powinni tu przychodzić. Dziękuję ślicznie. Czy mnie uporządkowało historię świętego Pawła na pewno, ponieważ no, stała się dla mnie dosyć czytelna. Ja oczywiście czytam Pismo Święte, znam Nowy Testament, natomiast teraz jakby ta cała historia świętego Pawła stała się dla mnie bliższa. Taka bardziej uporządkowana. Nawet historycznie, w sensie właśnie takim historycznym. Nie mam nic więcej do dodania. No i oczywiście naprawdę było bardzo profesjonalne wykonanie. Pięknie śpiewał i główny bohater, i jego córka. I no naprawdę bardzo nam się to podobało. To jest dopiero początek. Wierzę, że to nie jest coś, co się skończyło. Ja wierzę, że ten rodzaj przedstawiania jakby Ewangelii, dobrej nowiny w naszym kraju dopiero się zaczął. To się, tak, to się zaczęło. Taki rodzaj, właśnie muzyka. Coś, na co ludzie przyjdą. Nie za bardzo chcą przyjść do kościoła, nie za bardzo chcą przyjść na jakieś inne wydarzenia. Nagle zobaczyliśmy, że to trafia do ludzi. Jestem naprawdę bardzo pozytywnie zaskoczony. Ciekawe. Ciekawe. 3D, całkiem coś innego, ale coś miłego i takie głębokie przyjście. Was wonderful. It was life changing experience, no? So, uh, I believe everybody that we're here. I, I, I don't believe they are going back the same. <laughs> I don't believe they are going back the same. You know, something has been ignited in their heart. And I believe that the passion to follow God has been ignited afresh, even in the heart of believers that we are. So, thank God for this. Mogę podziękować tylko twórcom za ich pasję, za wiarę, którą promienieją i która ten entuzjazm, który udziela się nam wszystkim. I tylko możemy cieszyć się, że gdzieś tam w świecie są tacy ludzie, którzy też wierzą w Chrystusa i, i chcą ewangelizować. Tak? Dziękuję za to przedstawienie. 
Coś bardzo ciekawego, przede wszystkim pełnego emocji, wybuchowego wręcz emocji. Myślę, że rzadko spotykane w tym mieście i mocno absorbujące. Na pewno. Przede wszystkim emoc- emocji było pełno. Czyli poleciłby pan w ogóle? Myślę, że tak. Myślę, że tak. Myślę, że nie ma takiej osoby na tej sali, która była, która by miała ku temu jakiekolwiek wątpliwości. Bardzo ciekawe i pełne emocje wystąpiły. Jak zawsze. nas w hotelu. Jak zawsze tam gdzieś jest. Super, no wspaniale. Jesteśmy zbudowani, zachęceni. Wspaniałe jest to, że mogliśmy całą rodziną przyjechać. To może być piękniejsze. Nie. Tak, kupiliśmy prezenty i bardzo dziękujemy za czas i zaangażowanie. Super sprawa. A young boy named Eutychus was listening from three stories up. The many candles were burning, he grew lightheaded, fell asleep, fell to the ground, and died. That's not good. No. <laughs> But I took him in my arms. I prayed. And the Lord raised him back to life. If Apollos was teaching, the boy would have never fallen asleep. Apollos has far more charisma than I. Oh, if only you could learn about the great ministry of Apollos. A brilliant Jew from Egypt and so gifted. Well, your parents will have to fill you in. Right now, we are off to Crete. And as I said in my letter to the Romans, I have plans of going to Spain. Julia, the faith inside of you that abides also in your mother and now your father is like a flame that must always burn bright and hot. Not even Nero can put it out. You are the future. I will return to Rome. Rome burned! The great fire destroyed half the city of two million people. Nero had always obsessed on rebuilding Rome to his own liking, and so the people blamed him for starting the fire. It It was Nero! Nero! It was the Christians! Execute the Christians! of the people. He then blamed the worshippers of Christ for starting the fire. He considered them a horrible and shameful plague. His fury was unleashed. Multitudes of believers were convicted and put to death. Their executions were made a matter of sport. Some were sewn up in the skins of wild beasts and savaged to death by dogs. Others were fastened to crosses as living torches to serve as lights in the nighttime. My husband was later caught aiding and protecting a group of believers from persecution. He was to be sent into exile, but Nero, in a fit of rage, decided to make an example out of him and had him killed publicly. No!